Hey everybody, it's Justin from Bittner Built, and inside this case is the M-Cube. It's a prototype of a brand new uh, modular laser tool that's about to come out onto the market, and I have one of the five prototypes that they've made, and so we're gonna go ahead and check this out and see all the cool features that it has today on Bittner Built. All right, so what's in the box? Well, this is the M-Cube system. And what this does is a whole host of different measuring and leveling features. So it starts off with laser tape measure. It does laser leveling, bi-directional lasers. It does contour measurement. So you can measure curved and different shaped objects. You can use it to read blueprints. You can make floor plans directly on this unit. There's just a whole host of features that go along with it. And all of it revolves around this one unit with the screen. Uh, so this particular unit also has the laser tape measure built into it, but using really strong uh, neodymium magnets, this thing jumps together and now I have different functionality all of a sudden. I can use this as the contour wheel measurement tool. I could take this off and put in the bi-directional laser. So now all of a sudden we should have a laser coming out both ends of this. I can have the green laser come out of this. All sorts of cool features. And then we can add a joystick to this unit and use it to make floor plans right here. All right, a couple things before we really move into the review. Number one, this was given to me. Uh, I have not been paid for this, so this is just my honest feedback on this product that was provided. Um, they're excited to get it out there and get some feedback on it, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, this is a prototype, however, so there are some fit and finish issues. There's some software items that aren't present on this one that will be present on the final version, but they let me know about all those things before I got it. So, you know, I'm gonna be gentle and nice on those types of things, like the battery door is a little bit loose right here, but I knew that it was gonna be loose when I got it because they actually 3D printed the entire casing just for me. Uh, so it's not the production version of this model. Uh, also, since this is a Kickstarter item, I personally have been wary about Kickstarter stuff. I'm one of the people way back when Kickstarter started, I bought a couple things right away and a couple didn't fund and it took forever to get a couple other items. Um, so, you know, that kind of sticks with you, right? Um, but nowadays, a lot of companies are using Kickstarter more as just a, uh, a advertising platform like, hey, our product's about to come out. And I think that's what this is. Um, they're already moving into production right now. And so everything's gonna be manufactured in January in two months. Um, so, you know, I don't see any problems there. And in particular, when they approached me, I was like, let me look at their other stuff. And they did five other Kickstarters that all funded, that all shipped. Um, so with that, I said, hey, why don't you send me one of your other items too? Because since the fit and finish on this isn't a hundred percent, I can kind of show the packaging and one of your other items, just so you get an idea of what would be indicative of this company's product. Um, so this is their Neo Ruler, uh, very Apple-esque packaging, uh, which is cool. Apple prides itself on its um, design. And so this is a digital aluminum ruler system which is very, very sweet. Um, you know, it obviously has a screen over here that's telling you everything. And I really haven't played with it because again, I'm just trying to show like different features and stuff that's on here. But I know all of these different lights change up for different modes and stuff. But the main thing is that this is a really hefty aluminum ruler with uh, nice rubberized backing, good packaging. Um, this is a very, very, this is probably the nicest ruler ever. Um, so again, just to give you an idea, like they make high quality, uh, well-designed thought out products. Um, and so I like that, like, I don't like buying junk. So, um, you know, take from that what you will for over here. Let's dive a little deeper. So first off, we have a nice leatherette case. Uh, this particular unit is the whole package with a tripod. Now there are some other accessories like an induction charger um, and some different um, plates that you can use for long distance laser measuring. Uh, this tripod is metal. It is wide based with uh, rubberized feet. Uh, I'm a sucker for uh, nice tripods being that I do video obviously. Um, oh wow, I didn't even uh, completely unintended. There are neodymium magnets on here that are really strong. 
anyways, what you can do is if you have your module, you can actually uh, mount it directly to the low version of the tripod if you want to keep your measurements low, of course. Um, or you can add the riser. Uh, this has a nicely textured body to it. And then the riser, you twist it and it expands, extends to 27 inches. Now, why do you need a tripod with this unit? Obviously for some things you do not, uh, but you definitely need it for when you're using the laser leveling functionality. There's also a lot of uh, measurement calculations where you have to take multiple calculations and you need to remain in the same point. A good example is measuring the height of a tree. Uh, that's something that I'm actually gonna use this for. And so for doing that, you can stand right here and point the laser at the bottom of the tree, then point the laser at the top of the tree, and it will do the calculations to tell you how tall the tree is based on those two points. So uh, very cool functionality, uh, but it needs to stay in place uh, because if you move it a lot in between, it's gonna throw off your measurement. Now let's dive into each module. So let's start with the screen unit. This is the brains of the operation for most everything. And uh, physically, it has a USB-C charging port on here. It comes with a USB-C cable, has the power button, and it also has a logging button feature. And then you see your lasers up at the top. So uh, on this screen, which is a really nice screen, I'm really confident that it's the exact same screen as the, uh, the Apple Watch, which is nice. It feels very glassy. Uh, as you go through here. It shows you a lot of the different functionality that you can do. Uh, some of the functionality, like if I hit the smart room, it's gonna tell me you need to attach the module for that. So um, that's not something I wanna do at the moment. And of course there's settings at the end. So we're gonna do some simple uh, laser measurement right now. So it gives me more options. I'm not gonna go through all the different software that this has. It's it's very feature rich. Um, and so there's lots of uh, illustrations of that on the website and the Kickstarter. So up at the top, it indicates what uh, measurement you're using. So this is inch feet, millimeters, centimeters, uh, you name it, it does it. So right now I'm at inches. And so you can see it's changing as I move my hand back and forth. If I wanna log a measurement or just stop it for a second, I click the button on the side and now no matter where I move it, I'm locked in at 11.38 inches. Now this grayed out button right here, if you have it Bluetooth connected to your phone, you can send anything at any time to the application on the phone. So I can make a whole list of measurements on there. So as I take these, I can just send it down and then on my phone, I'll have a list itemized of all these different measurements that I take. So that's really awesome. The yellow icon right here is saying that we are taking the measurement from the bottom of the unit to wherever the laser strikes. If I click that, now it's saying that I'm measuring from the top of the unit to wherever the laser strikes. So um, lots of different laser um, settings that we can play with. Under the pro laser settings, we can do Pythagorean or trigonomic type of measurements, which sounds scary, but easy functionality. It does all the work for you. So let's take my tree example I was saying before. Basically what it's saying is, hey, take the measurement first from you to the bottom, take the uh, diagonal measurement, and then we'll tell you how tall this is. So we're gonna do this off of my arm and see if we can get it to work here. So I'm gonna measure horizontally to my arm and that is that many inches. And then we're gonna go to the top of my arm, do it again. And it was incorrect, so it didn't wanna give me a value. There we go. So that tells me that the area that I measured was 5.43 inches in height. So by measuring from the bottom of my arm to wherever I raised the laser to, that was 5.3 inches. Um, that's really, really helpful for items that you can't just place this under and take a measurement straight up. So if you have things blocking your way, you can stand farther away from something and do one of these Pythagorean uh, calculations and it's gonna tell you how tall that item is uh, even though you don't have a straight shot at it in the typical measurement fashion. Next, we're gonna take a look at the bi-directional laser and level module. Go. 
jump. There we go. Very cool. Um, so this module is the level module, but it also has the um, bi-directional laser. So you see it's going this way and it's also going this way. And why do you use a bi-directional laser? Well, let's say I needed to measure from the floor to the ceiling, right? Well, maybe I don't want to have to crouch down and put this on the floor a hundred times. I can just stand up in the middle of the room and let that laser project to the floor and then up to the ceiling. And I'm going to get my measurement without having to move, um, which maybe sounds lazy, but let's use the word comfort um, and convenient instead of lazy, right? Uh, so this uh, feature has a lot of different options where you can just single out the top laser, the bottom laser. I wanted to point out a really cool feature, which is the auto leveling adjustment. So it's this green icon right here. And if I tilt this really hardcore, you see how the green icon goes away. And then when I come back, there it is again. Well, what that's doing is when I'm taking a measurement, let's say I'm using the bi-directional laser to go this way and this way. I need to hold this perfectly flat because if I'm doing this, well, I'm not going to measure the room correctly. I'm gonna be doing a diagonal line, which is a different measurement. So if I'm holding it really flat, maybe I'm off just a little bit. The auto calibration knows how much I'm off and still gives me the same accurate reading, even if I'm kind of moving it a little bit like this. Um, it's doing the math to figure out what the number accurately should be. And so uh, that is going to give you a much more accurate reading uh, with this auto functionality on. Very, very cool. All right, so the leveling feature, obviously we have a bubble level built in here, but there is a digital level. And when it's in a vertical position, it's letting you know your level this way. As soon as you rotate it to like this, you get a dot in a bullseye. Um, that when you lay it down, actually my table is perfectly level. That's very, very cool for me to know. I'm happy about that. Uh, there's also an icon here for your cross. So that creates your green laser cross. And so this is super functional for if you're going to be laying tile, if you're going to be um, hanging a photo or a shelf, if you're doing wall outlets, if you're doing ceiling lights like cans in the ceiling. Um, I made a whole laser level video on a million different ways that you can use it. So uh, having a green laser on here, green lasers project much farther and are much highly visible than red lasers. Uh, this is a very cool feature to have. Hey, let's connect our rolling ruler. Uh, this is really cool that it's measuring with this wheel here. So let's select. And what I need to do every time is select what my scale is. So, uh, you know, if you were wanting to just use it as a regular ruler, you do it one to one. But this, when I'm doing a blueprint, uh, printed on my blueprint, it tells you its scale. It's 1 50th. So that's what I'm going to select. Or like 1 to 50 ratio, however you phrase that. And it has this button right here to make a laser cross on the paper, which is really nice because I really, really want to get uh, precise on this. So I have a two foot area. And I got it to two feet, seven sixteenths inches. Um, you know, I'm doing it kind of backwards for the camera at the moment, but uh, it matched what I'd have down on the blueprints. So very cool with that. And of course, as I do things, as with any function in this, I can send it to my phone every single time. Uh, the next thing using this contoured roller for is let's say we have something oddly shaped that we want to measure. Let's say I wanted to measure some of the uh, perimeter of this really weird shaped push stick that I have. I can just hit the ruler function and then I can just travel with the roller along this guy on the exterior and get a measurement that I never would have been able to get any other time. So 245 millimeters, uh, or of course I can switch it over to our crazy inches, the 9.68 inches for us in America. Um, so very neat functionality with this wheel to be able to you know, measure stuff that a typical tape measure is not going to be able to do. 
So I have the floor plan module locked in, and this is really the thing that does this for me. This is awesome. I love doing floor plans, and being able to do this very easily is what this tool excels at. So basically what we have up at the top, it's showing you what the laser is pointing at right now, is only about a foot away from it. So in the room, you would point it at the wall that you want to measure, and you would double click and it will make that line. And then let's say we are then rounding the corner. I would then use the joystick to point this little arrow on the screen in the direction that I want it to go. So now that I'm pointing it in that direction, I double click again, and it adds a really long line going in that direction. So then I would measure the next wall going over here. First moving my arrow in the direction I want it to be and double clicking. And now I have another really long line. So it is really, really fast and easy to make a floor plan on here. Uh, my father-in-law, Joe, has been a realtor forever, and this is the type of tool that he could use to make a floor plan really easy of a client's house if he needed to. So um, not just contractors could use this. This is really, really cool. Now, if I mess up at any point, I have a back button so I can bring it back. Uh, so I moved back two walls all the way back to the beginning. There is a feature right here with this switch. And right now I have it on blue, which means that I'm only moving it in 90 degree increments. So 90 degrees, 180, 270, and zero. Um, this is important because most rooms are gonna be 90 degree turns. If you move this down, you have free wheeling. So, I mean, I can move to 52 degrees, I can move to 164 and stuff. Um, so most of the time you're probably gonna keep it on the 90 degree turns, um, but it does have the functionality to be able to do any direction you want. This unit also has a battery compartment back here, um, which I believe is because you're gonna have the laser on for an extended period of time. Um, and so it has additional battery capacity for while you're using this. And then right here you can see there's a ledge for here with a button. So uh, you can take measurements like you're holding it right here where I put it up against a wall. Or if there's the ability I can put it on a ledge like this and then because this button is depressed it will know that it's taking the measurement from here and not from here. So, um, you know, gives you a couple different options on how you're doing it. But the fact that they've thought of all these options is pretty nice. All right, so I'm gonna take this into the field tomorrow, get some real world use cases on it, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So we're up on top of the roof right now uh, with my Christmas light crew. And uh, my friend and worker Amari there is at the other end. And one of the things we have to do is we have to measure how far we need to cut lights that we're going to custom make for the top of this roof. So we've placed a box at the other end. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but from right where I'm at, which is the other end of the roof, I'm 42 feet, seven inches and one thirty second. Um, pretty cool. So I'm trying to use this today while we're working, taking as many measurements as I can to then pre-cut all of our material that we're going to use. Now, we had to place that box at the end because there's obviously nothing for me when I'm shining that laser down all that way uh, for it to hit on. But with that box there, it was actually completely visible for me to see. Um, so even out here in daylight, uh, the manufacturer is telling me that I can get accurate readings to about 100 feet or so, uh, 30 meters. All right, the next thing that I'm going to try is a Pythagorean measurement where I'm trying to gauge the height of this giant holly bush. And so I'm going to take position and shine it at the bottom of the bush. Click the button. And then I'm going to get the laser and I can see it. Click it again at the top. It's telling me that... Um, if I switch it over to inches and feet, go feet. Uh, 12 foot, four inches on that bush, which um, I would say that's pretty accurate. I'm just a little shy of six feet, so looks pretty good. So 
on this particular thing, I wouldn't be able to put this on the ground and shine the laser up. It would never tell me how tall this is. So by standing back, measuring the horizontal and then the diagonal, it then does the calculations to tell me how tall the tree is. So inside the Mesor app, which is M-Cube's measurement app, we can create a new project. We can do floor plans, data list, photos. I'm gonna do a data list. I'm just gonna do T, make it in inches. And so any time I'm using any of the functions of this and I just hit this blue button, it's going to add that measurement to the list. So as I take new measurements in any form factor, I can then hit this blue button and it's going to send it over here. Inside here, I can rename this so this list can be kept up to date with what I'm measuring. And at any time, I can even switch it over into any other measuring increment. Now, when we're over in the floor plan app, once I've drawn a floor plan, I can swipe to the left and hit the download button and it will send it over to the phone uh, inside here. It's now exactly as we had it on the M cube. I can view it in 3D. I can edit it. I can add all sorts of elements like doors and windows. I can freehand additional lines and stuff. So for a free app that comes as a companion to the M cube, it actually has some fairly good functionality in the floor plans area. I am a floor plans addict. Uh, I like to do it quite a bit. So this is a really fun piece of kit to go along with the M cube. So my final honest opinions on all this. I had a really fun time playing with this and I found a lot of really great functionality with this. And honestly, I'm sure there's a lot of dark horse stuff, particularly with the roller unit. I can see in my CNC machine me using this all the time because I'm not only putting rectangles in there, I'm putting all sorts of shapes in there. So being able to measure it and translate it into the computer, super helpful. So I think this is gonna be my new best buddy in the long run. I really loved the laser tape measure. I love how small it is. Uh, it's equivalent to the Bosch 165, which is over $100 at all the big box stores. Has all the same specs as that. It goes 165 feet indoors and around 100 feet outdoors. Um, but it's half the size and this on the Kickstarter is $69 by itself. So it's around-ish half the price. So very cool. I love that I can just get this in my pocket if I'm going up on a roof or something. Um, I think I would like a silicone cover, but obviously we're in the prototype stage. So hopefully that comes out. So maybe a tip for you, manufacturer. Um, I'd love to see a silicone cover that I could put on this to protect my investment. Um, now, when we're talking about price, 69 for that unit. You can buy the entire package, which is the case, the tripod and all the modules for 279. That's a great price for what it is, but maybe you don't want all the modules. Maybe you're just interested in one or two. So the roller module is $39. The floor plans module is $49. And the bi-directional laser and green split laser is $69. So I like that you have the flexibility to keep it on the cheaper end, but invest in other modules later if you want to. And who knows if they're going to build other modules onto this platform as well. I'm sure if it's a successful platform, they're going to probably add more things over time, which would be very cool. Um, so price-wise, I think they did very well with it, uh, especially versus other independently um, used objects. Now, this might not be for everybody. Not everybody likes modular. Some people are like, I want this soul-based tool that does the job super well. I do think this does the job super well, but I understand the argument. So for some people, this might not be a thing, but for other people, I think this will definitely check a lot of boxes. Uh, I wanna definitely say thank you to Hozo Designs who provided this to me. Again, it wasn't sponsored. Uh, I'm a small YouTube channel, so uh, it's awesome when I get cool prototype things like this. I love tools, so I like to play with this stuff. Um, and as a small YouTube channel, if you got some good content out of this and you want to like and subscribe, that'll help me a lot. As always, stay safe in the shop. I'll see you in the next video.